three minute Friday. Maximum information in the shortest amount of time. Let's get started. When you have your Korean bow, you want to store it with the string on. I use sometimes rubber bands, but then the string comes off and it dangles and the, 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 the rubber bands will break and it's always a hassle. You need to remove it. You need to put it somewhere and then you lose it. Remember Josh from the Ballista, he has a solution. Look at this, it's a piece of paracord. Here you have a fixed knot and here you have a slip knot. You put the slip knot just underneath the string head and tighten it in the center. With the slip knot it's relatively easy, so you simply make the knot nice and tight in the middle. Then you put the string on the bow. Keep it a good stretch and hold it firm. It doesn't go anywhere. Then you take the other one with the fixed loop, put it through the string loop and pull it tight. See, and now this whole thing is all of a sudden really tight. Once you have it here, you still hold it tight. You could create a loop to the left, like so. Put it on. And tighten it really nice and then you make a loop to the right uh, right to the right like this and put it on so what you get now is a nice and tight string on your Korean bow here it looks like like a loopy doopy it's tight it doesn't come off and you have a hook where you can hang your bow on a peg not a big problem and this thing is tight so it might come off when you bounce again but here the tension is more tight than I could ever manage with a rubber band and this is a solid thing so this is really not going anywhere and when you want to shoot again you just open these two loops open this one up here and then of course you can remove it if you want to or you simply go in the direction where you tighten it this direction roll it roll it roll it roll it and the last roll you simply tighten here under the loop you know like you do with a string surfing look at this now the bottom part of the bow fell down but you get the point now you have this one stored here only the loop needs to go around the corner here it's like so is now tight and nothing is in the way so the string is not in the way when you shoot see that it just runs over it it's no problem at all so you can leave it on if you mind the weight of this two three grams then you can remove it if you don't mind you leave it on you even have if you want to in the strong version here a small loop where you can hang your bow if you want but this is really a cool solution collapse it again zack and you're ready to go so first we put of course the, the slip knot under this nice string pad here simply tighten it to the, to the center and then you get your string on over the string pad nice and centered over the belly over the handle Jesus, it's cold today. So then you have it here. You hold your loop in place. Go with the fixed loop through the string. And you tighten it here directly. Look at this. Awesome. Josh, awesome. Then you only need to, again, remember this, that you want have to make a loop to the left. And on it. And the second was the wrong one the left and on it ah, the code for that sure and you can already tighten it and to secure it you make a loop to the right and put it on it too and what you end up is so and then you tighten it and you're ready to go so now you can hang your bow somewhere you can store it put it in your sleeve the maximum which will happen is that it comes off now but here with the cork handle it's so secure there's nothing coming off see that's pretty darn interesting and it's all just a piece of paracord 
you can make it by yourself or you ask Josh <laughs> leave the email to him in the description it's quite cheap so you can go out in the fields and whatever you don't lose your, your band so you will always have it and it doesn't collapse like rubber bands they last a while and then they get brittle and then they're done so this is a really good solution Josh I really again <laughs> You amaze me with your your invention skills you're really that's pretty cool so obviously it's made for korean bows which have a string pad thank you very much josh for doing this you are awesome and thank you for watching catch you in the next one